Hello, and welcome to Shalina's Hub. Thank you for listening, and I hope you have takeaways from this message. The topic today is what is happiness. Firstly, though, I'd like to say a short prayer. Dear God, I approach Thee with a humble heart, seeking the gift of happiness and the wisdom to embrace the contentment that resides within me. Grant me Thy grace to recognize the many blessings Thou hast bestowed upon my life and the courage to face life's challenges with the unwavering faith. Help me help those that truly are seeking to find happiness and use me as thy humble tool so that I may do thy good works. Dear God, help me to learn to be grateful for whatever my heart holds and to find joy and to find peace in the simple pleasures of life. Teach me to focus on thy love and presence rather than on material possessions and to find fulfillment in the relationships that nourish my soul. Please guide me, dear God, in my journey toward happiness so that I may grow in wisdom and compassion and share the gifts of love and gratitude with those around me. May my heart be filled with thy divine light and may I find true contentment and the knowledge that I am never alone, for Thou art always with me. Amen. Happiness. Happiness is a divine gift from God. It's a yearning that resides deep within the human soul. We are all seeking it, but do we truly understand the path to its attainment? Our journey toward happiness is often riddled with misconceptions, as we are led to believe that material wealth is a key to lasting contentment. In today's world, we're often misguided in our pursuit of happiness, placing emphasis on material gains. Yet no number or amount of worldly possessions can bring forth the lasting contentment and inner peace that are the cornerstones of a truly happy life. Our divine essence transcends the material realm, and thus, it is essential to recognize the limitations of material pursuits in bringing truest happiness. A wise and humble sage once lived in a small village. Despite having little in the way of material possessions, he executed a sense of inner peace and joy that was infectious. And when asked about the source of his contentment, he replied, My happiness comes from God and I find it in the simple pleasures and the beauty of the world around me. His words serve as a reminder that true contentment comes from a deep sense of gratitude and a satisfaction with those we are and where we are in life. Embracing the belief that inner peace is more and more valuable than all of the world's riches is a significant step toward contentment. We're in a full speed mode in this life. If truly we are, at least most of us, and it feels as though time is spinning faster and faster. And we often forget to pause and express gratitude for the abundance and love that surrounds us. In our society, advertisements incessantly coax us to desire more and more and more and to seek the newest and the best whatever is out there, be it gadgets, be it automobiles, fashion, travel, we find ourselves comparing to others. Yet, it is so very essential to remember that we are already blessed beyond measure and that true contentment resides in the heart, not in the material possessions. You just need to look within and be content for the greatest richness already lies there. Let me tell you a story of a wealthy merchant who had everything he could ever want, money, power, and possessions, everything. But despite his riches, he found himself feeling empty, very empty, unfulfilled. And one day, though, he met a wandering Bedouin, a wanderer, who sang songs of love, of faith, of gratitude, simply beautiful, poetic, lyrics that sang to any hearts. The merchant was so captivated by the Bedouin's simple joy and asked him, How can you be so happy 
when you have so very little? And the Bedouin replied, It is not what I have, but what I give and the love I share that brings me happiness. You see, I have God in my heart, and that is enough for me. And his eyes were like the depths of the seas that encompass so much knowledge. This encounter prompted the merchant to reevaluate his own life and focus on cultivating gratitude and contentment. And cultivating contentment is a spiritual practice that requires discipline and de requires dedication. Try volunteering at a food bank or offering our time and care to a hospital or nursing home. We can begin to appreciate the blessings that fill our lives. When we witness the struggles of others, our own circumstances take on a new light. And then a gratitude within us, or rather within our hearts, bloom. Nurture your relationships with friends and family, cherishing the love and support they bring. Embrace their imperfections as part of the beautiful tapestry of life and express your appreciation through heartfelt gestures like a warm smile or a gentle hug. And the more gratitude we embody, the more contentment will envelop our lives. Contentment is a divine state of being, a reflection of the love and the grace bestowed upon us by God. Welcome, welcome it in your heart and you will find yourself at peace with yourselves and with others, fully embracing the present moment and the abundant blessings that life has to offer.